In this video, we're going to look at how you can add a picture to a family historian project and link each person in the picture to their record. We're also going to see how you can link each person specifically to their face in a picture and how you can then use these faces in diagrams, reports, uh, or whatever. We're actually looking at the family historian sample project with the pictures removed. And uh, the picture we're going to add is a picture of these five people, Ian, Monroe, Charlotte Carrington, and their three children. There are two ways of adding pictures. You can add them from the Add menu or from the Multimedia tab of the Property box. We'll look at both in turn. We'll start with the, uh, adding from the Add menu. So click on the Add menu, click on Pictures. You can add multiple pictures from this dialog. So if you select all the pictures in a folder and click OK. You can add them all in one go if you want to. We're only going to add one picture, which is this one. Select it, press OK. Now Family Historian asks if you want to copy the picture or pictures into the project folder. We usually recommend that you do this. The big advantage of doing it is that if the pictures are in the project folder, it's much easier if you want to make a copy of a, of a project. Uh, if you you can simply copy the project folder from one computer to another computer or give somebody else a copy of it uh, and all the pictures will be there and will all work fine because they are all part of the project. You don't have to copy the pictures into the project folder but if you don't it will be more complicated if you want to make a backup of the project or if you want to copy it. Anyway, uh, in this case we will copy it so I'll press copy. And now Family Historian has opened the multimedia window and shown us the picture. In fact, what it's done is it's created a multimedia record for the picture that we've added. And it's given us a, a title up there, a default title. We'll change that to something more meaningful. We'll call this Ian and Charlotte and the family. Now, it's a very good idea to provide a date for the picture. The date of this picture was 1st of May 2005. You can add a note. And a keyword. Uh, we'll say, what keyword should we use for this island? Now, if we double-click on the picture, we can see it in close-up in the viewer pane. And we can now link that picture to all the people in the picture. Firstly, we'll link this person here, Ian Munro, to his record. And to do that, we click on this button on the toolbar, Add Link to Face. And when we click on that button, the cursor when you move it over the picture, it will turn this shape and look like a little cross. And what you do is you click and drag to draw a stretchy box around the face of the person you want to link. When you release the, the button, Family Historian will ask whether you want to link the, uh, this face to an individual or family or source record or nothing. Uh, we'll leave it as an individual. Press OK. And then we have to select the person we want to link that face to, which is, in this case, Ian Munro. So let's do the same thing very quickly for other people in the picture. Click on Linked Face. Draw a stretchy box around Charlotte Carrington's face. Leave Individual selected. There's Charlotte Carrington. Press OK. Incidentally, don't worry too much about getting the box exactly right, because you can always change it at any time. Uh, if I click and drag inside the box, when these dotted uh, boxes, these little white handles are there, I can move the box around and resize it. And if I click away, that'll fix it. If I want to adjust this one, I click on this button, Select Frame, to bring the little white boxes, little white handles back. And then again, I can reposition the frame and resize it. When I'm happy with it, I just click on the background elsewhere. Okay, let's add uh, another link to face. Oh, 
This is Janet Monroe. Now, if I want to, I can also add a note about the link between the picture and this person. So in this case, I'm going to say Janet was very reluctant to appear in this photo. And let's add one more link from this face to Christopher Monroe. And that's it. I've added the picture and linked it to four of the people. I've left one, as we'll see in a moment. And if we now go back to the focus window, you can see that these pictures are already in use. And uh, there's Charlotte Carrington, there's Ian Monroe. And if we navigate and look at Christopher Monroe, there he is, his picture's already been used. Now I said that uh, you can add pictures from the Add menu up there. The other way of doing it is from the Multimedia tab of the Property Box. I deliberately did not add a link to Paula Monroe. I'll do that now. So I've selected her record. So her details are now showing in the Property Box. And if I click on the Multimedia tab and then click Add Media, media it asks me if I want to insert a picture from a file or link to an existing multimedia record. Now I could add a new picture at this point, but in fact that's not what I want to do. I want to link Paula to that picture that I've already added, so I'll choose the link to existing multimedia record option. Click on that. And select that record, that which is a multimedia record, a record that represents a picture. Press OK. Now, I want to link this picture specifically to Paula's face, so this is an opportunity to do, to do that. So I, I click on Link to Face down here, and again you can see that the cursor has turned into a little cross, so I move it over the picture, draw a stretchy box around Paula's face, and press OK. And now all five members of the family all have uh, are all linked to that picture. And if we open a diagram, you can see that already uh, those faces are in use, all taken from that picture. Now one other thing I can do, if I go back to the multimedia window, I've already linked each of these faces to the people. Uh, I can also link the picture as a whole to this family and I'll do that now. I don't want to link a face to the family, I want to link the whole picture, so I'll click on Add Simple Link, and this time I'll choose Family, press OK, and I'll choose the family of Ian Monroe and Charlotte Carrington. So now the picture as a whole is linked to their family, and each individual person is linked to their face in the picture. Now the reason it was a good idea to link a picture of a family to the family as a whole is because you can do clever things like this. If you open the family group sheet for Ian Monroe and Charlotte Carrington's family, press OK, you can now have a family picture at the top. And if we scroll down, you can see that the each section in the report has used a picture taken from the picture at the top. And in fact, if we click on the Options button and look at the Picture Settings, you can see that the default option here is to use faces from displayed family pictures for preference. There are other options, but that's, that's quite a nice one. So that's quite a common thing to do and quite a nice thing to do. So that's all you have to do. Uh, family Storian will automatically reuse uh, pictures Diagrams, reports, faces, websites, family trees, CDs, whatever, once you've added them.